This podcast presentation was created by Jacob Fallon, Michael Monaghan and Dara Mackey. It focuses on the topic of adolescence and mental health. It was recorded within the grounds of the University of Limerick in March 2017. What is mental health? Mental health is defined as a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. It is of common belief that mental health is one of the most important factors of health in a person, as it also has the power to impact a person's overall physical health. In order to examine the issue that is mental health, we must look at a wide range of causes which could lead to a person being in a positive or a negative state of mental health. Poor mental health refers to the negative psychological state of a person. This state can manifest itself in a person due to a variety of causes, be they biological, social, economical or psychological. Mental health has become a pressing issue in recent years as a result of many people living in a poor psychological state. In this podcast, we will be discussing mental health among adolescents. This is a pressing issue in this day and age, as the problem appears to be intensifying. Good mental health leads to people, in this case youths, being cognitively and emotionally sound, which leads to valid contributions within the community, at home or elsewhere. While this is still in the majority, it is important that we recognise the flip side of this. According to research by the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, One in five people between the age of 19 and 25 suffer from a mental health disorder and scarily one in six between the ages of 11 and 13 were suffering from a mental health disorder at the time of this survey. Furthermore, we will be talking about two significant pieces of research, My World Survey and the Clomel Project. We will also suggest ways in which this issue can be combated. According to the research done by Fitzgerald and Dooley for My World Survey, only 70% of the sample were said to experience no symptoms of depression. The other 30% range from mild levels to very severe levels. As said above, this is not the majority, but it is a large proportion that might increase if sample size were to be increased. Adolescents are the future of this world, as they will grow up and assume the roles of the adults in the forthcoming years. Being in a poor state of mental health might inhibit the contributions of these people, which is a worrying factor to consider. The Glomel project undertaken by the Health Service Executive and People in UCD found a prevalence rate for mental disorder of 21% among their sample of 12 to 18 year olds. This backs up my world survey as both are easily comparable to each other. The trend of one in five adolescents with a mental health disorder is distressing as young people should not be struggling with issues such as these. A very wide range of stimulus can trigger all mental health disorders. Anything from poor or average performance academically or in the sporting field to a bereavement can lead to long-lasting problems. The spectrum of causes can be so wide, literally anything could lead to a disorder. It can be futile to create a specific list of causes for mental health disorders as all humans are unique and their minds work differently, meaning something that will mean nothing to one person might be the end of the world for another. That said, certain things have been documented as major causes for mental disability. For males, top three causes of disability were road traffic accidents, 8%, unipolar depressive disorders, 7%, and violence, 6%. For females, the top three causes were unipolar depressive disorders, 10%, schizophrenia, 4%, and bipolar disorders, 4%. To deal with mental health disorders, there are many options available. One of the easiest and most effective ones is simply talking to somebody. It doesn't necessarily have to be related to the problem, but any kind of talking helps. There is a wide range of services that people can ring or call into, such as Smartens, Aware and Grow. All of these organisations help people in need, and they help many people every day. They are well equipped to help with all kinds of issues. Exercise is also a good way to combat mental health disorders. It releases endorphins that boost your mood. There are many other options available to people, and although some of them might only be temporary, it can be one step in the right direction.